I'm just going to give you a quick story, as quick as I can. 1980, they made competitions have compulsoraries. Everyone had to do the exact same line. They got scored on how they did that line. Jay Smith, in the ball Watch his laid back. Jay Smith rebelled, did something completely different. Frontside carved, frontside carved, frontside carved, carve, lay back. We walked away from that contest going, Jay Smith's our dude, that's why we skate, we're going to stay with that for the rest of our lives. Jay Smith was amazing. Laybacks at Whittier, still rips. I was a big fan. His style endured, and to this day, no one can throw a layback like he did. Jay Smith was rad. He did that layback. Sequential photo layback of just like rodeo star hanging off the back, still got his feet on the board, riding that bull. But he was the guy that could come out of it with speed. And that's the key to a layback. <laughs> Everyone knows Jay Smith had the best layback in the business, but do you actually really know that he was like the evil, crazy, weirdo uncle of the Bones Brigade, the original, only the second guy ever to be on the team. And his shredding was undeniable. Look at all the photos. I started seeing these old photos of Jay Smith and he was hitting the shallow ones so far, like 1977, 78. Shallow end skating was not a thing in the 70s. Plus he had full padded hip grind during the time everyone was skating skate parks. We're like, what? Pools? Let's take our skate park tricks back to pools. You can do them in pools now. We thought you couldn't do anything more in pools. Jay Smith's photo of him grinding in that backyard pool is seared in my mind. But when it comes to his layback photos and sequences, those are seared in my heart. Jay Smith did that for me, and I'm forever grateful. The kid was incredible and also a great friend. I'm so stoked he's getting in the Hall of Fame this year.